Hello, you sexy beasts, and welcome back to uh, War Thunder, or in this case, specifically my desktop. You might be hearing some background noise, there's an alarm going on, I can't really help that right now. What I'm essentially trying to do is answer a question that I get a lot. How do you get onto the dev server? If you do not know, the dev server is the, let's say, testing environment for future upcoming War Thunder patches. And contrary to what some people still believe, it is actually open to everyone, not just us YouTubers. Anyone can log, log onto the dev server and test new stuff out. So let's quickly show you how to do that. The first thing you need to do in order to get onto the dev server is to download the dev client. The dev server is essentially a separate version of the game from the main game and as such you do have to download it separately. To do so, you simply search War from the dev server on Google, click the first link, and you will find a link to the dev server launcher. Download this, install it, wait for it to all download, and you're done. Once you have done that, you simply launch the server. Now, here is where you need to know some things. The dev server is only open at very specific times. Currently, as I'm recording this, on the 8th of September at 7.35 p.m. in uh, Lisbon time, the dev server is open right now and will be open until, I believe it's 16 p.m. GMT, something like that. Which is actually quite a while compared to what we usually have, usually it's a much shorter time. By opening the War from the Dev directory and simply launching the game, we are launching the dev server. Now, here's the thing, as I mentioned, there's a, there are very specific times you can get onto the dev server. In my case, the dev server is open right now, so by simply launching the game, I am going to get onto the dev server. When the dev server is not open, you might get an error saying something like, Error, your account is not activated. This is not a bug, this does not mean that you have to do anything, this simply means that the server is offline, nothing else. The question then being is, how do you know when the server is off online? The easiest way is to simply be on the discords of a couple of content creators, we usually ping everyone when the dev server is open. Otherwise, you can also follow posts on the official Warfare on the forums or on Reddit. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Once you're on the dev server, to note is that it makes a copy of your current account and is separate from the game. For example, if you have 10,000 Golden Eagles on your main account and you log onto the dev server for the first time for a given specific patch, you will have 10,000 Golden Eagles in the dev server as well. The neat thing is that Spending the Golden Eagles on the dev server does not actually spend them on the live server. So you can freely spend them without risking losing them at all. This can be handy when you want to test some premium stuff out, for example. Now, given that it does make a copy of your original account, this also means that you won't have everything unlocked. You will have what you have normally. So, in order to test some of the new stuff out, you will have to research it in random battles against bots. The good thing is that on the dev server, both the research point cost and server line cost is reduced by half, as well as your research point gain increased by 5 times, giving you a total of about 10 times increased to research. That, combined with the ability to simply shoot at bots, makes it actually rather fast to test some stuff out. In case you want to test out the helicopters, you can't do so unless you have access to the CBT, meaning that you will have to buy one of the premium helicopters right now. Same thing goes with the ships, if you do not have access to the CBT of the ships, you cannot play them on the dev server. Finally, any progress you make on the dev server does not carry over to the live game. Say, for example, you unlock the M60A1 on the dev server, you will not have it unlocked on your live server. These are two separate games, keep this in mind. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully I've answered most of the questions, this has been kind of a quick video just to get everyone on track, because the dev server is open right now as this video is uploaded, so get on it! Preload it, download the dev server, it's open for a couple of hours, you might get a chance to even get on it. I don't think I'll be streaming this today, because I have family over, so I can't really stream this at night, but I will be doing recordings and will be doing videos on it over the next couple of days, so stay tuned for that. In any case, lads, hopefully you enjoyed this video, my name is Michael Boom, and as always, thank you for watching.